The case where things can move very quickly is if the solvency or the reliability of brand-based guarantees begins to erode. Now, this is actually a very scary thing, and it'll mean some scary changes in the world. But the, the reality is that if the world that we're in now is based on some kind of institution or firm or enterprise saying, you should trust my insurance company, you should trust my financial institution, you should trust me because I have a logo, and that logo has been solvent and successfully executing contracts for 100 years. If that begins to fail, um, like Wirecard, like, like other examples where people begin to, to look into the solvency or, or to question the solvency, and, and, and the reality is that a lot of solvency is based on market dynamics, and the market is still in a very good place. So if, if the market doesn't go to a good place, if it goes to a bad place, and you have people whose solvency is based on the market being in a good place, well, then solvency becomes an issue. And the brand-based guarantees of Trust My 100-Year Logo uh, begins to uh, erode very quickly and possibly disappear. And, and I think the fundamental question that, that everybody should ask themselves when thinking about blockchain systems in their core, core foundational value is if brand-based guarantees are no longer acceptable, where do we go? What, what do we do as a society that wants to conduct global trade, global financial transactions, and, and kind of interact on this contractual basis when somebody's brand no longer assures me that they're solvent and that I can rely on them and that I can do transactions with them. If we get to a world where that is a question um, or, or a fundamental question for many transactions, then math-based contractual guarantees of which blockchains and definitive truth-based systems like DeFi are the absolute pinnacle, those systems will uh, immediately become in demand.